We got ourselves some great news regarding Spencer Knight. He will be returning to the Florida Panthers to participate in their development camp. Now, usually he would not be allowed to take part due to being on his second contract, but they have made a special provision due to him leaving the club on February 24th to join the player's assistance program. I hope for Knight, this is an indication that he's got everything under control and he can live a healthy and happy life. Outside of hockey, just personally, I hope everything for Spencer Knight is going well and he ends up reaching his potential. He was drafted 13th overall by Florida in the 2019 NHL draft. The kid's only 22 years old. He still has a lot of hockey left in him. The sky is the ceiling. Whether it be at Boston College or internationally, he has put up fantastic numbers. And thus far in his NHL career, in 57 games played, he has 32 wins, 17 losses, 6 overtime losses, for a 906 save percentage and a 2.91 goals against average. Now, Knight leaving the Panthers allowed Alex Lyon to come in and be the folk hero that he became towards the end of the season, but now Lyon signed in Detroit, the backup position is solely Knight's. And I think that's a smart thing. If Knight has shown massive improvement off the ice and hopefully in a healthier space, he has far more talent than Alex Lyon, and that's not to diss Lyon. He just signed a deal with Detroit and will be battling most likely with James Reimer to get some significant ice time. Sometimes I feel like we take for granted how much weight can be put on these young men and the pressure to live up to a certain standard. And hopefully time away from the game has allowed him to kind of put things in perspective. You're playing a sport you have loved as a child. You are living out your dream. Take a step back and enjoy it. And as for the Panthers, they're going to be spending $14.5 in the goaltending position, so quite a bit of money. And I'd say if Bobrovsky didn't have that fantastic playoff that he did, that that is way too much for the goaltending position. I'd even argue it still is way too much. But it builds confidence in that room that Bobrovsky, when in the zone, is that guy that can take you the distance and hopefully will be able to split game with Spencer Knight, not just to help mentor him, but to also give his body a break. It's gonna be very interesting with some key departures I've seen from the Panthers, but they brought in some guys like OEL and Mikola that admittedly have me intrigued. But getting back to Knight, not to batter this home, I'm just happy for him as a human being. It's not been officially documented what exactly happened with Knight, but hopefully from this point forward, He's in a better place and can just become a phenomenal goalie for the Panthers. Now, I'd be interested to know your thoughts down below. Do you think Spencer Knight will have a breakout season? Or do you think he'll need a little bit of time to get his feet wet again? Love to see those comments. I'm Captain Paul and I'll see you in the next one.